his 11th question, how does ESP work in your understanding? And I answer, our brains are electrochemical antennae that both receive and broadcast signals through the energy field of 5D hyperspace that underlies the 4D space-time of our local universe. This means that the sub-organs inside our cerebra have evolved for energy in a way similar to that of dolphins, whose frontal lobes have developed a complex array for beaming sonar messages underwater. Directly behind our eyeballs, are the parts of the brain called the thalami. There's a left thalamus and a right thalamus, and together they are called the thalami. The role of the thalami is as a kind of holographic projector. They receive input-output from all the motor nerves of the body and exchange this for output-input from all the somatosensory nerves in the brain. In short, the thalamus serves as a depot or kind of way station between the body and the brain, or even more acutely, between the pineal and pituitary glands of the endocrine system and the frontal lobes of the cerebrum itself. To provide a massively oversimplified allegory, compare the brain to a movie theater. The pineal and pituitary glands are producing a pulsed signal of light that is then shown through the thalami, the lens, and onto the frontal lobes, the screen. Engrams are small patterns formed out of electrochemical activity in the neurons of the frontal lobes that mimic the shapes a person is thinking of. Telepathy is basically just projecting this same signal outside of one's own skull.